Are you struggling to create accurate logo grids for your circular logos, but you find it just takes way too long? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can finally do it instantly and precisely in Adobe Illustrator. Creating logo grids can be a pain when it comes to showing the perfection of your logos and also presenting your logos. However, both of this is extremely important. You wanna find errors in your logos after you've made them, so it'll be great to create a logo grid after. But also when you're presenting your work to your client, this is like the best way to show that you are professional um, at what you do and even win over clients. Thankfully with Logo Grid Generator, you can simply just now generate all and you can create all of these beautiful anchors, handles, outlines and grid lines in a logo. However, this is the basic version, but in the pro version, which I recently released, we now have the ability to change the preferences as well as customize. So if we just open the preference tab, you can see we have grid line sensitivity and circular trajectories. So if we just highlight outlines and grid lines, and now what we wanna do is turn on circular trajectories, and then we can just simply click generate, and you can see the extension perfectly executes a grid with circular shapes that complete the logo. You can see the perfection over here. Before this, it would take a while, so you would have to obviously create the shape and then duplicate it and then possibly do something like this. Um, but all of this time adds up, especially when it comes to, if you're a logo designer, graphic designer, you have deadlines to meet. You don't really want to be spending all your time creating um, circles uh, for, for presentations. Um, along with that is likely that you can make mistakes. So you can see just, it's very likely this is not accurate, then I would have to do it again. So you can see how longer it will take me um, as opposed to just click and generate. And now we have another example here. So with this logo, you can see there is not perfect circles, but you can see it's kind of just like rounded shapes. And you would think that the extension wouldn't be able to capture it. So if we was to do this manually, it's very likely we would make several mistakes because it's almost impossible to completely line it up where it's accurate. Like it's almost impossible unless you're really good with the pen tool or Adobe Illustrator, you have to do stuff like that. So thankfully with circular trajectories in Logo Grid Generator Pro, you can now just keep outlines, grid lines on. So for circular trajectories to work, the grid lines feature needs to be on. So when you click the logo, you click generate, you can see these perfect circles generated on the logo. And you can also see separate layers are created. So we have circular trajectories, grid lines, and outlines. But if you want to make any customizations to the circular trajectories, for example, you can just click the target, go to stroke. You can, let's say, increase the weight, or you can even do dashed line. So you can see how cool this looks. Um, very, very cool. And if you want to like customize it, and it just gives you the edge as well when you're presenting um, your projects on Behance. So this is one of my favorite examples because you can see in this logo, there's a few rounded corners. And these rounded corners, if you was to do this manually, it would take a very, very, very long time if you was to do it for like every corner. So let's just say we are to do something like this. Um, on top of that, you have to really zoom in get to it and align it up like just doing one is a bit of an issue and sometimes it doesn't snap and then you have to it's almost like guessing work and you know that's it's very likely it's not completely accurate because if you zoom in you can see you've got double lines there but with logo grid generator pro that's no longer the problem so we can just simply select the logo same settings generate and you can see the perfect grid lines diagonal but you can also see all of the circles in each rounded edge of the logo so you can see it matches up perfectly you can see no double lines it is directly on the path and it's perfect so this is how useful it can be especially when you're presenting um, like a last minute client project like this alone would save you about 20 minutes and imagine doing it um, as a designer over a week the efficiency is just is just insane and lastly, this is one of my favorite examples. So being a professional logo designer, you 
still make mistakes and using a tool like this really just elevates your craft it just gives you an advantage so if you are to again just generate you can see you have multiple circles that are perfectly done perfectly captures the the curves however this was actually one of my old logos thankfully it wasn't a, a client project but you can see that there's many overlapping circles and this just goes to show that the the logo is not a perfect circle i must have done some skewing and warping so things like this um, in the logo that i done that by accident or or something so this tool this feature just shows you just highlights any errors that you may have done but you just completely forgot that you even skewed and walked it or or so on so you can show how this feature as well can really help you catch errors in your logos um, in terms of the settings for the feature so you have the sensitivity um, you, you would hardly need to use the complex side if you do complex then you're going to see there's like a lot more circles so I would recommend for most people like leaving it to minimal so when it's minimal it kind of restricts how many circles it produces but obviously if you have errors then it's still going to capture you have like errors um, and then you can just play around with that and number of circles per curve so again play around with this it depends on um, the logo you're working with so if you just click the eye you could read the information here on how it acts but um, again for most people i would just recommend keeping it minimal and keeping it as the default on all. So that's how you recreate circle grids for your logos in Adobe Illustrator. You can do this by using the Logo Grid Generator Pro extension for Adobe Illustrator. You can find this at gridit, www.gridit.io. I'll drop the link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below.